and severity of hot days across the country. Wild thunder, flash flooding, scorching heat. Welcome to the unpredictable land down under. Four seasons in one day. Joining us live from Melbourne to work out what's going on with the weather is Climate Council CEO Amanda McKenzie. Good afternoon to you, Amanda. We've, we've seen snow, bushfires and flash flooding and it's just spring. What is going on? It has been really strange and we would expect to see more strange weather as the climate changes. And one of the worst things about climate change is the heat impact. Often Australians don't hear about the number of heat deaths from extreme heat days and heat waves, uh, but they're actually the biggest killer out of all of the different types of extreme weather events that we, we find. And heat waves are becoming longer, they're happening more often. Where I come from in Sydney, heat waves are now starting 19 days earlier. In Melbourne, they're starting 17 days earlier. There's a real impact here on extreme weather events. Amanda, the hottest day ever recorded in New South Wales was back in 1939. The thermometer was 49.7. Now, back then, greenhouse gases were not anywhere near as prominent. Do you think the extra heat, is that our fault or is that just Mother Nature? Well, fortunately, we haven't broken every heat record yet. But the point is that as average temperature increases, we see more and more records being broken. So as we burn fossil fuels, oil, gas, coal, the pollution goes up into the atmosphere and it's effectively like a blanket around the earth trapping heat. So as, as the earth gets hotter and hotter, we start seeing more extreme weather events being fuelled by that heat. The last 37 years have all been above average temperature. And this isn't just me saying this, this is NASA, this is all of the big science organisations all around the world, the Bureau of Meteorology, our own CSIRO, they've all been warning us for many years about how serious this could be for us. Amanda, Prime Minister Tony Abbott was noticeably absent at the UN Climate Change Summit last month in New York. How do you think Australia is being viewed by the rest of the world when it comes to our climate change policies? Well, recently there was a global study around leadership on climate change globally and unfortunately Australia came last. We hear this a lot from our counterparts in other places around the world saying Australia should be doing more, you know, you're affected so much by extreme weather events, but then on the other hand, you've got so much sun, you're the sunniest country in the world, you're one of the windiest countries, there's so many benefits that can come to Australia if we're investing in renewable energy, whether that's jobs or foreign investment, all of those sorts of things. Amanda, thank you very much, appreciate that.